Here's the Ismash Sega AK-74, finally completely converted. Uh, yeah, this, if you remember, was the regular supporting configuration from Russia, and that's how it was imported. And uh, here's the conversion done by myself. Okay, uh, I took my time with it. It took a little bit longer than I planned. Uh, but it came out really well, so that's really all that matters. Uh, repainted it. Uh, the barrel, I used high heat primer and high heat paint made by Rust-Oleum. And the receiver, I just used a primer and enamel by Rust-Oleum. Okay. Uh, I uh, JB welded the holes. Uh, that are not supposed to be there, but they were the holes for the original trigger group, and you can kind of see where they were. Uh, but I did my best. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Uh, the trigger guard in the normal position, and uh, I used my Bulgarian plum stock set. Uh, in the future, I plan on getting a Russian. Soviet AK-74 stock set, but for now I just have the plum. <clears throat> and uh, here's the gas block and the front sight with the bayonet lug and the accessory lug. The AK-74 chrome line muzzle brake. I've changed the rear sight leaf to a normal uh, thousand meter sight instead of the 300 meter sight from the original supporting configuration. Uh, got a cleaning kit in the stock. And we'll flip it over. Alright. And yeah, here's the lower hand guard retainer. Okay, this is not the kind that you just clamp on and screw on. This is a, you know, traditional, normal uh, hand guard retainer. And to get that on there, you have to remove the original gas block and front sight. And I ended up changing them anyway to regular AK-74 parts. And here's a Arsenal made gas tube. Sega 545 by 39 made in Russia by Ismash got your scope attachment and here's those other holes right there you can kind of see where they were I did my best to uh, JB weld them turned out pretty good same with the bottom uh, you, can, you can see where I JB welded it welded it that's where the screw was to hold in the original yeah, for forward handguard or the foregrip and here's you can kind of see it where a screw was there was a lower tang here for the original stock and uh, the trigger that's the Arsenal ink trigger that came out of my SLR 104 UR okay because uh, you remember when I got that rifle I replaced it with a Tapco G2 and I just had this sitting around, so I figured I'd use it for this. And, uh, and it, the trigger's all right. It, it's not the best trigger out there. It's a two-stage trigger. Uh, you know, it's not really a good trigger for pers precision shooting. But, you know, it's good enough. And, yeah, here it is. <clears throat> Here's the Bulgarian Circle 21 mag that I uh, repainted to kind of look like a plum color. And it uh, looks pretty good in here. Plum magazine. And uh, here's the East German Bakelite. Also looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I haven't shot this at all. Never shot it, even when it was in its ori original configuration. Uh, never shot it once. Probably should have. 
but I'm sure it'll work just fine. Uh, I have installed a bullet guide, so uh, that's supposed to make it more reliable. But yeah, there it is. Uh, the conversion is complete. Uh, Russian Sega AK-74. Like I said before, I've always wanted an SGL-31. And uh, just very expensive and they shut off the importation of all Russian firearms, ammunition and so on. So I grabbed uh, one of the unconverted ones and I converted it myself. I think the total cost of this whole project was about $850. So, you know, a lot cheaper than it would have been buying an SGL-31 and pretty much it's the same exact thing. You know, I mean obviously there's some Bulgarian parts like the front sight, gas block, uh, the rear sight <clears throat> is uh, East German, you know, but other than that, it's pr you know, pretty much the same freaking thing. So I'll have to shoot it and, you know, give you a range review, probably, probably make a video shooting it too. But yep, there it is. Pretty awesome. I'm very happy with it. Really couldn't be more pleased. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to enjoy owning this. Alright, let me know your thoughts and uh, you guys take care.